938. Nashville Morning News on Super Talk 997 WTN. Time for the Gang of Four Amigos. Brought to you by My Patriot Supply. Prepare with Mandis.com. Good morning, Johnny B. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. Good morning, Dan. Ken Weaver's in the WTN newsroom. Good morning, Ken. And uh, Chris Hand is here. Hey, good up? morning, boys. Yeah. Hey, Ken, would you do me a favor? Sure, Brother Dan. That Jill Biden audio, will you, uh, will you play that? I want to do an experiment. That You have some Jill Biden audio that you've been playing all, uh, all morning long. And it's kind of weird <laughs> because <laughs> when, you, when you play the audio, there's a different sound that comes into my Just Just play, the, play her audio. 10-4, Brother Dan. Women put Joe Biden in the White House. Hey, and women are going to keep him there. That's what her, that's what her voice sounds like right there. When she says, women, women are going to keep her. Women put Joe Biden in the White House. Hey, and women are going to keep him there. I, it's like the same tone. Like a car alarm. Is it, she sounds, she sounds a like siren. a siren. She does. She sounds like a car alarm at 2 o'clock in the morning. It's Joe. In fact, the car alarm sounds sexier. <laughs> you know what? I actually wanted to do it. Actually, if I, I was looking for an hour. By the way, that's great comedy right there. Um, I was looking for an hour for the right Joy Behar cut because that sounds almost as annoying as Joy Behar. Is that is that an oxymoron, the right Joy Behar cut? Yes, it is, actually. Because let's all be honest, there, there is no such thing as the right Joy Behar cut. Hey, uh, we're doing a, a, a wacky radio bit today, Chris. Perfect. So... <clears throat> Because that last thing that I tried wasn't e- e- enough of an of an epic fail. Um, so this morning, this morning, and five minutes before we got on the air, Dan came into the the prep office. And he says, "Raise the bar today. My show's been fire." <laughs> <laughs> it's opposite day, you know the uh, things I say. All right. Um, earlier, I actually lost my phone. Yes, I left my phone. In the bathroom here at work. Okay. I've never done that before. And it's kind of like karma because I used to make fun of the old guy in the, around the office who used to do that all the time. Yep. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, it, his name wasn't John. But John's been in here because here's his phone, right? Yeah. It, it, that was like the joke. For the first time in, in my existence at uh, WTN, I left my phone in the bathroom. <laughs> and I was without it for like 90 minutes. And I believe... That number one is karma because I made fun of the old guy that used to do that. Now, guess what? I'm the old guy. You're the old guy now. So what is uh, what? What's the first signs of, of getting old from a guy who's, you know, what are you? Uh, I'm 35. You're 35. <laughs> I hate you. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so, yeah, what is the. Um, Walking upstairs and getting to the top and going, what did I come up here for? Yeah, oh, I see that. <laughs> that happens to me quite a bit. Does it? Yeah. Okay, so your mind is always racing. Yes. That happens to me too. Uh, other things that we were talking about was being on the phone while looking for your phone. I haven't done that. You haven't done that yet? No. All three of us have. <laughs> yeah. I'll go a step further. I one time started uh, stomping around cussing because I couldn't find the TV remote. Went to the bathroom and it was in my front pocket. <laughs> Can I just ask a question? Yeah. What kind of pants do you have that you can fit a remote in your front pocket? Uh, well, it's uh, utility shorts, and I got these utility pockets. <laughs> utility shorts. I, I just put things in them. Another sign you're getting old wearing utility shorts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got my pills in one of the pockets, my back pills. <laughs> so when Ken's walking around, you can hear the pills going up and down, and, you know, you can always no, hear those Ken are just, just coming my a mile away. Those are just my everyday bells. Okay, very good. They ring for happiness. <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> We're talking about um, hair on your ear earlier. Oh, yeah. and um, Not a fan. Not a fan? <laughs> not a fan. <laughs> In fact, that's my first question to God. Why? Uh, why? Why? <laughs> why did you do that? Exactly. <laughs> I once met a guy, I swear, I swear you could have braided the hair on his ears. Why? Really? And, and uh, I remember thinking to myself, like, oh, I'm not looking forward to that. And it's like, you know. Well, it, <laughs> I, I got to do this, too, for PSA for... Because there was a listener, oh. and I, by gosh, we love you guys. But one of you guys took a selfie, <laughs> and it was not. <laughs> Let me just say, somebody's got to talk to you about your nose hair. Oh, no. Oh, it was bad. Oh, 
Somebody took a selfie and they sent it in to us? Well, they they sent it on, it was on uh, social media. Okay. And, oh, it's bad. Bad nose hair? Oh, I wanted to, okay, a different angle would have been good. <laughs> because, Let's be honest, you wanted to go up and just start pulling it out, didn't well, you, John? No, I didn't want, I wanted to look, <laughs> look away! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dan Mandis and his jokes suck. Eighty forty nine. Wow. wow. Already, it's only Monday. I know. It's going to be a rough week. It is going to be a rough week. The critics are out. Oh, that's all right. I don't care. You should be like the ref at the middle school game. Like, you think you can do a better job? <laughs> yeah. Get, get, down <laughs> get down here. Get down here. An entire entire middle Tennessee says, oh, uh, yeah. Let us <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> yeah. I'll sleep in. Man, uh, I would hate to be an umpire at a Little League baseball oh, game these days. No, I, I, I've done it, man. <laughs> I was an umpire for like a, a game. A couple of innings. And I was like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I did, people are yelling at me. And I oh, just, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, all you want parents mad at you. No, because they're psycho. Yeah, they are. I mean, I, I have told the story of me ump- umpiring, and I told you the story about when I was a scorer keeper. You know, I did the scoreboard. Yeah. And they thought, hey, he works in radio. Radio, he can run a he could run a scoreboard for football. And I don't understand football, right? So <laughs> I got all these parents turning around and yelling at me in the score in the scoreboard booth, and the referees are. Rolling their arms and you know all this kind of stuff and doing the whole X thing, <laughs> I, just, I didn't understand what it all meant and nobody was there to help me and it, I thought they were gonna like walk me to my car and beat me up. <laughs> That's what it said. Yeah, they don't mess around in Texas. So it was a typical radio gig. They didn't tell you anything of what you'd be doing. That's exactly right. And then had no one there to explain it to you. Now I did. <laughs> I did. I did figure out the winding of the arm means keep the clock going. Yes. Sir. Okay. And then doing that whole X thing means stop the clock. Yeah. That is all I know. So there you go. Chris. How much did you get paid for that? Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> got a and, firm handshake and, and they pat got, on the back. And they got what they paid for. Anyway, we're moving right along. What do you have for this? Uh, did you hear what the, the big event? There was a big event over the weekend in New York. No. Huge event. Yeah. Huge event. Massive event, was it? Massive, if you will. Okay, bigly. Morbidly. Morbidly big. Morbidly massive. It was a uh, fat beach day. All right, Fat Beach Day. <laughs> yeah, they had the, they had the event on Saturday. It was aimed at countering uh, fat phobia and providing a welcoming space for overweight individuals. Okay, they did it at the beach so the fire marshal wouldn't shut the place down. <laughs> fat phobia, uh, overcoming fat phobia, and that's, that's somehow going to be accomplished by seeing more overweight <laughs> people in bathing suits. Yep. And listen, whatever. I mean. I, Whatever floats your boat. Whatever baby. floats your boat, man. If you want to go out there and you want to, you know, I mean, were skinny people allowed to? I don't think so. Well, that's just dumb then. The so the skinny people are not allowed to go to the beach. If you want to combat fat phobia, then the overweight people have to be, uh, you know, seen by the skinny people. And they should do some. Right? They should do some things together, like you know, character team building, like do the trust fall. Yes. Um, <laughs> the trust <laughs> I like that. Yeah. The event was organized by Jordan Underwood, and she sought to create an environment where people could feel comfortable and accepted regardless of their size. She said, we're going through something culturally that is impacting us every day on an individual level and a systemic level. And we're really trying to open up space for people to be themselves. Wow. Unless you're skinny, then you're not, not allowed on the beach. <laughs> no, if you're beautiful, you stay away. Okay, so <laughs> I've got a, I've got a question. Who do you think? How am I going to phrase this? Who do you think has a bigger issue with the other side? Do overweight people hate skinny people more, or do skinny people hate overweight people more? Like I, I don't like because I've I've seen it both ways. Like there there are people that are bigger that will just you know they just really nasty towards skinny people. And then there's some skinny people who are really nasty towards overweight people. Now, I'm a, you know, I'm an equal opportunity offender. If I don't like somebody, I just, you know, whatever. It doesn't have much to do with what they look like. It's more no. what they say. But, I mean, I think this might be a lady thing, a woman thing. Because women tend to have, you know, they can be sort of catty. <laughs> oh. You should let me hang, aren't you, Chris? You should I, let me. I've never heard that. Chris I've, is like silent. I've never heard that, actually. You've never heard that, really? No, these guys haven't heard it. You haven't heard that, right? 
Dan's, oh, you, you Dan's guys got suck. a firm grip on that <laughs> show yeah, this uh, morning, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. He's knee deep now. Breaking ground. <laughs> all right, all right. See, Lindsay's but ladies back me up here. There we go. Lindsay <laughs> says the overweight people are more hostile. <clears throat> That's one. <laughs> The overweight people are more hostile. That that's what Lindsay says. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Please dig a little deeper, brother. Yeah, what, what, I'm, what I, you know, thing, what? We're going to either sit here in silence or somebody else has to bring a Ladies, topic. ladies are catty. Yeah. <laughs> Lena says, "I'm definitely not like that." I know you're not like that, Lena. You're pretty cool. Oh, hi. By the way, is Lena and Lindsay and everybody else coming to our big uh, event, the big uh, debate watch party next Thursday, three to eight? Good pivot. Yeah, that was. <laughs> and good save. Well, nobody else was helping me. Gonna, I had to figure something it's out. It's going to be a huge event. <laughs> <laughs> All sizes welcome. Yes. I mean, everybody is welcome. It does what not I matter what you look like. Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right. As long as you don't wear a Biden shirt. <laughs> no. <laughs> That'd be something, man. <laughs> well, that, I, I, That'd be bravery. A Biden, in, a Biden in handcuffs shirt would be appropriate. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, we'll take that. Biden, we'll Biden, take behind, that. Uh, Biden behind bars. Hunter with a crack pipe in his mouth. Now I wanted asleep. to wear, I wanted to wear shorts, <laughs> and Amy told me that would be unprofessional. Really? Yeah. I said, "Honey, it's going to be like a thousand degrees out there." Yeah, it's going to be warm. She yes, said she is. didn't care. It would be unprofessional to show my knobby knees. Hmm. <laughs> Did she describe them as knobby? Was that her descriptor? She, I think she. Did, yeah, she has said in the past, "I have knobby okay. knees." Okay. So, which I don't believe they're knobby myself, but whatever. It's funny because my wife this morning we were talking about what I was going to wear. She's like, "You should wear those blue shorts." So I'm I'm actually going oh, yeah, unprofessional. Go. I you I well I listen. I have not actually said to my wife that I was going to uh, acquiesce to her demands that I be <sighs> professional. I may just wear shorts and I may wear Crocs too. Oh, oh boy, you're really going. The there. Crocs are going to be a bold statement. With, with, I was joking earlier with some socks. Yeah, well, I'll, do, I'll do Crocs and socks. You don't. You don't want to get the. You don't socks. want to get the speckled toes from the sun. No, we wouldn't want that. Speckled now, would toes. We? <clears throat> anyway, uh, everybody's <laughs> excited about this. Freckles on your toes. Oh, yeah. Hop yeah. Springs. Now, I, I, last time I was at Hop Springs, it was when Biden won the election. Oh. And it was freezing cold. And so now I'm going to be out there for this debate party, and it's going to be hot. Really be, hot. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be warm. Now, I don't know if it's in, Do you know if it's inside or outside? I, I, think, we got, I think we've got a 50-50. You 50-50? Yeah, because the overflow goes outside. Okay, so we'll be inside. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Because nope. like back in uh, November, it was such a train wreck. Can I just... So last time we did this years ago, I think Hop Springs had just opened. Okay. And it was really cold. I mean, it was like freezing. And so they said, hey, don't worry about it. We've got generators. The generators were so loud that we had to turn them off, the heaters. Oh, no. So we had to turn them off. And so I had to be out there freezing in the elements for a couple of hours. And that was rough. Did you regret wearing your Crocs to that event? Did not wear the Crocs to that event. (laughs) I was bundled up. Some nice lady actually. How 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 cold and pathetic was I? Somebody actually gave me a blanket. Oh, <laughs> it's very nice. I was I almost started crying because I was there. And did, oh my god! Thank you so much for the blanket. But that blanket, by the way, still sits on my bed. <laughs> did you? It's a sign that not all did humanity you go, is lost. Did you go full ET and have it over your head too? I did actually. Right. Somebody's got a picture of me doing that full <laughs> ET. Although I considered it Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay, that's right. how I thought. A like little bit more like based. Little- <laughs> Use the Force, Bandit. That's exactly. Don't right. go on the floor. No, I'm excited. I've, I've been telling everybody, come to Hop Springs. Yeah, what it's do gonna, people say? It's going to be a blast. Say they're going to come. I say, oh, let's think about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please come. Listen, I love Murfreesboro and I love Hop Springs, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. No, I'm, of I'm excited. All, I got a bunch of neighbors coming. We it's got free. friends coming. It and, is free. Uh, it's going to be a blast. There's right, lots good. of room to move around out there too. And I oh, don't, there is. And uh, I don't. I don't know about this particular um, event, but I do know they are pet friendly. They are pet friendly. Okay, well, yep. dog friendly. No cats on leashes, please. <laughs> 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 or turtle keats. <laughs> no, well, uh, I'll leave Bandit at home. Thank you very much. All right, perfect. Yes.